I'm Ruth and I study biomedical science here at St George's and I'm in my second year. Um, so I'm just going to tell you a little bit more about the course. So in your first and second years of biomed, you study mainly alongside the medics. So you do all their clinical lectures. And you also have your own biomed specific lectures on cell microbiology and therapeutic investigations. Then when they're off doing their clinical science um, skills, you have lab sessions. So you're doing a little bit of chemistry, biology, research type stuff. And you also have small group tutorials, doing a little bit of data analysis and some case studies. You also um, have normal DR sessions, um, so you get to dissect as well, which is always a great thing to do. Um, so you're going to be in five days a week, um, so you'll have labs on a Tuesday afternoon in first year, I think. Um, you'll have tutorial on a Wednesday morning, uh, DR on a Monday morning, and obviously Wednesday afternoons off for sport. Um, there's loads of opportunities to get involved in research, so you can do a studentship after your second year, which you can get funded by the university or externally. You can do some work experience with some of your lecturers if you just approach them and ask them. In your third year, you have to do a lab project of Biomed, and it can either be lab-based or research-based. And if you're a medic, you can intercalate and do your research then. Staff are lovely here, they're really approachable, you can ask them about practically anything, um, they always give out their email address, lots of them are happy to meet face to face, and they always ask if there are any questions after lectures. Um, especially your PBL, CBL and SBL tutors, because most of them are masters or PhD students, so they're students themselves, so they're on the same sort of level as far as student concerns. Also, you all have a personal tutor who's there for pastoral needs, anything that you have any worries about in your personal life. Um, everyone wants to know about transfer, if you're a biomed, so you can transfer after your third year. So because I'm a second year, I'll be applying at the end of this year. It depends on your grades in first and second year. And then once you've done an interview, 20 students will be chosen to enter T year once they finish their biomedical science degree, if they get a 2-1. It's really competitive, loads of people are really interested in it, um, but if you're determined to do medicine, it's a really great route to go by. Freshers, a bit more fun. Um, so that's the first two weeks of the academic year. So it starts with some meet and greets. The weekend you move into halls. Um, at the SU bar or at a local pub and there's a barbecue in halls um, to get to know some of your cohort and some of the more senior students. Um, the freshers hasn't been planned yet because uh, the, the executive team haven't been elected yet but it'll be two weeks and we usually have some classic St George's discos like back to school and Toga and tequila There'll be information evenings on community projects. There'll be sports tryouts and circles. Um, you'll meet your mum or your dad, because um, we run a parent scheme. So there'll be somebody in the year above you on the same course that can give you some advice. And then you meet the rest of your extended family, um, which is always great fun. And then with them, you can do quizzes. And there's Wandsworth 8, which is like a pub crawl, which is part of our sort of St George's heritage. Um, what else do we do? There's always a Freshers' Ball on the last Sunday of Freshers' Fortnight, which you can go to all dressed up with the rest of your new friends. Um, things I like best about St George's is that it's small. Um, lots of people like this. It's also one of the worst things about St George's. Uh, it's great because you can walk into university and everybody you meet, you can say hello to you because you know them. People in different courses, different year groups, you get to know loads of people through all the different societies. You don't have to be good at a sport to get onto the team because there aren't that many other people here. Um, you also you know, get the fact that everybody knows what you did at the um, disco last Friday, so pros and cons. Um, but also because everybody's medical based, they all understand the stresses and strains and how demanding your course is. They all know when your exams are, so everybody's really supportive around that time of year. 
um, and everybody knows how to have a good time and balance their course because everybody finds that they, you know wants to do well in their course and has a course as demanding as your own. Tooting is great. It's like one big student city because once you move out of halls, then you live in all the different houses around Tooting. There's loads of markets. It's really vibrant. You're only a few minutes away from the hospital. Um, in halls, it's really nice to do in first year because you're a little bit more isolated. You've got some more security. All your friends are just a corridor away. But in second year, it's great to move on, um, learn how to live in a house with your friends, and pay bills and things. Um, obviously, you're just a tube journey away from central London. Loads of things to do there. I mean, what better than being half an hour away from the capital city? Um, and in Intuiting, you've got loads of pubs. You've got um, Students' Union. You've got some great bars such as the Tram and Graffiti. Loads of restaurants, all sorts. Um, so, yeah, Tuting's great. St George's is great. Biomed's great. I look forward to seeing you in September.